Hello there, this is a short video about the um, new penalty point system which just got into effect here from in season, season 8. We didn't have it in Season 7 which meant that you could pretty much be as big as a retard as you wanted and then just get away with it, just get the in-game penalties and nothing else. Now there actually will be some consequences as we, as we can see here in the bot bottom here. If we get 25 points, we'll be rewarded, rewarded. <laughs> awarded a qualifying ban, it's not a reward. <laughs> 40 points is a race ban, 50 points you'll come to the stewards, be put on a review and most likely be removed from the league. So um, I don't think the points is gonna um, be reset at any points in the season, so we have the entire 18, 19 races, how many, 17, how many we have. But then again I think if you only cause, get a lot of these 5 points causing a minor avoidable collision, and that's the only ones, and you then get tens of those, let's say, and then you get 50 points, you're probably not gonna be um, thrown out of the league, unless of course it's just really retarded things all the time, and you do it on purpose. Then um, then you can see this 50 points to the highest one, deliberately crashing into another driver. That's Let's say um, I just kept going past him, let's Winters, he's a nice guy to make fun of. <laughs> let's say I keep going past Winters, and, I, and he just gets annoyed, and then he just starts crashing me off all the time, and crashing into me on purpose. Well, let's say we're on the straight and just bumps into me for no reason. Then he could get the 50 po points penalty, and then he most likely would be out of the league, even though he is the moderator of our league, but still, well, at least our splits before. And um, yeah, well, then we can see here when we look at the different things we have, we have the abusive, be abusive behavior on forum. Well, that means, let's say, for example, I go now and write in some chan chat somewhere that wins is a big ass retard, whatever, I don't know. Then I would most, most likely get that just to keep a nice clean, clean, what? What the fuck is it called? Tone thingy on forum. Then for the five points you have causing a minor avoidable collision. That's of course if you for some reason cause collision that you should have been able to avoid if you just were a bit more awesome, whatever. <laughs> then that's the one. Then you could get five points for. Then um also thi this this one causing a major avoidable collision collision. That might be if you just slam into someone and then just everyone just crashes off. Then of course you get 10 more points because if you're not waiting for the affected driver that you cr just crashed off. Which I also think is a f nice thing because last season, nah, you got just the pen. You, usually if you got smashed off the track and the dri other driver didn't wait, you would go to the stewards, but well, they just said, oh, you can't do that, but nothing really happened. Now there actually are some it's a penalty for to do it, so that's nice. And this one, no showing a race without giving notice, of course. We have some reserved drivers that are eager to drive it like anyone, everyone else is, and it's quite annoying for them to just sit every time and watch if there only are 10 people in every in every race because some people just don't show up. So that's why you have to give notice as well. Of course, race quitting, yeah, still again, not allowed season 7 either, but now we get penalty points as well for doing that. Because no matter how f crabby your race is going, you shouldn't just race quit. You should just keep going on and, well, try to have the fun you can in the back or wherever you are. This one, 5 to 15 points, ex excessively abusing the track limits. And then, um, as we see here, it's depending upon the severity, how many points, penalty points you'll get. If, let's say, it's uh, some stupid track, now we don't have it anymore, but Canada, which is very easy to corner cut. If you do that ev lap by lap by lap, and especially if you have video of it, then you're most likely going to get the 15 points. And the 5 points, that could be in a track like, um, you know, I don't know, Malaysia, perhaps, or, or Australia, where you just... You cut some of the corners, but you don't don't get the warnings. But it's just you still can do it rather often. And then it's uh, perhaps only also if it's just random that you really didn't do it on purpose, just turned in too quick, or perhaps did a get a, get a bit too much speed out of the corner and then extended a bit, of course. <coughs> then we have this one: 25 points, de deliberate destroying your car, especially serious with the safety car enabled, which it of course is, because um this is bad. Let's say um let's say my teammate in this season it's big RT in the force in there. let's say he's in um let's see say he was just in fir first then he fucked up in some corner smashed into the wall just after the pits have to crawl all the way back I might be in last anyways because I fucked up earlier I don't know I might be already a lap behind it after a couple of laps already on on only so then I just take my car crash it into let's say the pit into the wall then you most likely get the safety car then he have a chance to get everything back and don't lose the points, and that's why it's not very good to do that. <laughs> that's why it gives so many penalties. And of course, the last one, 
50 points, deliberately crashing into another car. I already been through that. You can't do that. It's not a good idea. It's bloody annoying for the other, other driver because, yeah, it's just stupid. And yeah, the penalty points will usually be usually be reset ahead of a new season. Oh wow! So that means it won't necessarily. <laughs> that not that that's not gonna go well. <laughs> but well, um, this was pretty much um the um penalty point system that we have now here. So yeah, thank you for watching. See you next time. Good night.